Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today I'm doing things a little different, I have a white background, so I wanna know what you guys think, so definitely leave me a comment down below, let me know if you like it or not. I'm gonna do this for a few videos and see how it works for me and see how it works for you guys. So today's stitch is called the Shell Rib Stitch, and it isn't as complicated as it looks. It isn't, doesn't have any cabling, which I thought that it would. So um, I'm using Lime Brown Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn with size 11 knitting needles. And you wanna cast on in multiples of five. So I have 15 stitches. So you can see I have three rows. I have three columns. All right, so for row one, Row one and row two are knits and pearls, so we're gonna build your confidence first and then we'll get started a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna purl that first stitch and then we're gonna knit three and purl two. And purl two, the yarn in the front. Knit three. Purl two, knit three, and then we have one extra stitch here, so we're just gonna purl that last stitch. And that's the front side. So this is the back side of the work, and we're just gonna do the opposite of what we did before. So we're gonna knit this first stitch, then we're gonna purl three and knit two. Purl three and knit two. Purl three. Knit two. Purl three. and then just knit this last stitch. All right, so now back on the front side, row three. This is where it does get a little tricky. We're gonna purl that first stitch and then we'll start our repeat. So we're gonna slip that first stitch purl wise. Then we're going to knit two together. So skip that first stitch and we're gonna go inside wrap around, pull it through. So we're knitting those two together. And now we're going to slip this, pass the slipped stitch over those two that we just decreased. So we just decreased two stitches. So we went from three stitches to one stitch in between our purls. And now we're gonna repeat, or now we're gonna purl two and then we'll repeat. So we'll slip one with the yarn in the back, slip one purlwise, knit two together, slip both off, and then pass that slipped stitch over those two we just knitted together, and purl two. So we decreased two stitches there, and then we'll do it one more time. We're gonna slip one, knit two together, and then pass the slipped stitch over, and we're gonna purl this last stitch. So we decreased two stitches in between each of these ribs. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches left. So now we're going to increase those stitches on this side. So we're gonna knit this first stitch, and now we're gonna take this one stitch and turn it into three. We're gonna do that by purling, knitting, and purling into this one stitch. So it's gonna go from one to three. So purl without removing it. We're gonna knit, and without removing it, Bring that yarn into the front. We're gonna purl again. So we did a purl, knit, purl. And now we'll knit these two stitches. 
So that one stitch became three. So we'll do that again with the yarn in front. So we're going to purl knit purl into that one stitch in between our two knits. So purl, bring the yarn into the back to knit, bring it back into the front to purl, and then knit two stitches. And I'm pretty sure I'm using all of the muscles in all of my fingers so that my stitches don't fall off. So you're going to purl, knit, and purl. And then we're going to knit that last stitch. So now we should have 15 stitches back on our needles. And that's what it looks like. And it does have this little hole here. That one, I'm not sure I didn't get it very loose, but I really do like that. It is very pretty and it, it is soft, a lot softer than I would think and, and stretchy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and I hope to see you guys again next week. Thank you so much for watching.